Blessings everyone. So today we will be visiting the Enema Arts Gallery and then I'm going to take you over to Sole Luna for a brief lunch. So this is the entrance of the Enema Arts Gallery. So beautiful. All of the murals on the wall. It is highly, highly creative and the camera actually is not doing it justice. But this is one of the top things to do when you visit Kigali is to come visit the Inema Arts Gallery. So I'm going to take you around the outside. I did film the inside, unfortunately due to the LED lights that were on the inside, the settings on my camera made the lights blink. So I'll just be showing you some clips of the outside and you can head over to their website to see more information and pictures of the inside. So just a little background, the Anema Art Center is a collective of Rwandan creative artists. It provides a space for artists to explore their creative talent, specializing in contemporary African arts, crafts, music, and dance. The artists produce paintings, sculptures, and mixed media expressions showcased in the gallery at the Anema Arts Center. The center is home to programs, projects, and initiatives that expand creative arts in Rwanda. Through workshops, trainings, and hands-on classes, the Enema Arts Center provides a space to fuel creative expression. And we are just viewing the beautiful outside garden here. It is a very inspirational area where the artists can come and be creative and uh, be amongst nature and gain all the inspiration that they need. But it's a very beautiful, beautiful center. I highly recommend if you're in the area to check them out. And I wanna say a special thanks to Innocent, who is one of the main artists here. He was so kind when I visited and toured me around the whole gallery, and I really enjoyed my time there. Here we have Enziza Crafts, which was launched in 2010 by Innocent. The Enziza Workshop employs and trains Rwanda Crafts women. The on-site workshop bustles daily with women sewing, beading, and finishing pieces, creating pieces like the Kitenge pillow covers, handbags, and all of these uh, beautiful wallets that you see there. Everything in this room has been created by them. The showroom brings together work from around the country, offering products solely produced by women and there are some jewelry options as well. So definitely support if you're in the area. I ended up buying this wallet that you see here and I will definitely be back to probably purchase a laptop bag to further support the women in their journey. But I appreciate that Innocent thought of this project and it's something that I think should be replicated elsewhere. Now we're heading over to Sole Luna for a brief lunch. And I came over to Sole Luna specifically to try their pizza. I had heard about the pizza from a few different individuals, so I figured it was time for me to give it a try. As you know, I am plant-based and it's very hard to find pizza where they do not have any cheese and all these other um, items on there that I normally do not eat. So I was excited to try. So we're heading down the main steps to get to the restaurant area, but I thought this was just so beautiful. It was so much nature surrounding the steps and I was just really enthralled by how well they designed everything. So I really appreciated this design. So coming down the steps, uh, Sole Luna is a traditional Italian restaurant. They have your traditional pastas, pizzas, they have uh, gnocchi, they have everything Italian that you can imagine. Um, they have it here. This is the inside of the restaurant. This is where I was sitting. And as you can see, you're looking out on this beautiful, beautiful view of Kigali. It is just mesmerizing. Of course, the landscapes as normal. 
it is part of the Kigali lifestyle and I absolutely love it. I ended up ordering a passion fruit juice that was fresh and let me tell you this passion fruit juice was probably the best I've tasted so far it was so delicious and here's my pizza as you can see I removed the cheese on my pizza I put olives garlic arugula basil oregano um, and I think I had uh, mushrooms as well on there. Yes, I did have mushrooms. So here is the menu. And I'm just gonna take you through the menu. Um, as you can see, they have your traditional Italian dishes, but the menu was quite extensive. So it does give a variety, um, even if you are vegan or vegetarian, such as myself, you can adjust all of the items and ask the chef to remove certain things or just adjust the recipe to make it cater to your dietary needs, which I really liked. Um, so here is, I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of the menu, but you can also check out the menu online. All right, guys, that's it for today's vlog. I ended up eating the entire pizza. I'm a little embarrassed to say, but I was extremely hungry and it was very delicious. So I definitely recommend Sole Luna if you're in the area and certainly Enema Arts Gallery is something that is a must visit. I hope to see you guys soon in the next vlog. Remember until then be blessed, subscribe, like, comment, and definitely share. Take care and talk to you soon. Bye.